how to make animated videos in Canva and PowerPoint. In this video I will show you how you can make professional looking animated videos in Canva, just Canva, how you can make professional looking videos in PowerPoint, just in PowerPoint, and how you can combine the best features in Canva and PowerPoint. And you can use a free Canva account to do the animations I will show you in this video. The animation you can make in Canva, you can make them for free. And uh, I look forward to showing you how to make professional looking videos combining the best features in Canva and PowerPoint. So first I will show you the animation I have made and then I will show you step by step how to make a similar animation just using Canva, just using PowerPoint and how to combine Canva and PowerPoint. So let's jump into it. Alright, so now we are going to create an animated video and uh, we can start in Canva. You can use a free Canva account uh, and uh, that's because we want to find good backgrounds and good illustrations for our animation. You can use a free Canva account. There are a lot of great free backgrounds and free illustrations in a free Canva account. I am using a pro account and that's because I have much more illustrations and backgrounds to choose from. All right. So here um, we are going to make our um, film in on a canvas um, the size 1920 till 1080. That's the size of a computer screen and that's also the size on videos on YouTube and most uh, social media. Right, so first we want to add a background and Previously I have searched for empty rooms here and I found this background, so I'm going to use this background. You can search for um, empty rooms, you can search for a park, buildings, a forest, yeah, um, or you can just search for background illustration. But here we have the background for my video and I have also searched for audience because I want to have an image of an audience here in my video and when I searched for audience stuff I found this illustration which I'm going to use in my animated video. So let's place the audience here and let's make it a little larger. So, okay, and uh, I also searched for a microphone um, and I found a good microphone which I'm going to use here. So, and let's make it a little larger. Uh, all right, so that's the first image I want to place this microphone at the center of the video so okay so this was uh, the first image for our film and now let's duplicate this one okay and here what I want to happen here is I want to zoom in so let's make everything a little larger first of all we are going to make the background a little larger So, and let's make the audience larger. And I'm doing this because I want to zoom in here on the second image. So, and let's 
let's position <coughs> this image so that the stage looks a little larger as well. So, yeah, that's good. Okay. And we have, of course, to make the microphone larger as well. And let's again increase the size of the audience. So in the second image, <coughs> I want uh, the audience of the video to get the impression that they are standing behind this microphone, that they are the speaker here. All right, uh, this looks good, yeah. Uh, all right, and now let's duplicate this image again. And now I want to uh, I want to turn around, so I'm going to have a rotate effect in my video. So uh, let's um, get rid of the audience here, and let's make the microphone much smaller. And let's flip the microphone. So, and then I want to add an illustration of the speaker here. Here we have him. So, how did I find the speaker? I searched here in Canva for, uh, for a person. Uh, all right. So, here we have him and now we are going to add the, an audience from behind. I just searched for, from behind and that way I found people to use here as an audience. So let's just paste the audience here and we have to make it much smaller uh, yeah let's take this one so and i want to add more people here let's take this one And more people, maybe we can use this one. We have to flip this image so that she will be looking at uh, the speaker. So, and let's make it a little larger. Okay, and we need more people in the audience, so let's see. Uh, I don't want all of them to raise their hands. Uh, so let's, uh, let's take this one and we have to flip him so that he's looking at the speaker. <clears throat> and let's make him a little larger. And we need more audience here. Let's take this one. And we need more people here in the audience. So we can take this one. And we have to flip her so that she will be looking at the speaker. one more person uh, so just 
one more person we can take. <clears throat> yeah, let's take her. So, and flip. So. All right, so now let's duplicate this image. Uh, duplicate. Okay, and now we want to have a screen here so that he can show his PowerPoint or maybe he will be showing a video. So I searched for screen uh, here in Canva and there are a lot of screens to choose from and a lot of them are free. So let's uh, take this one. All right, and now we can duplicate this image so and now I want to zoom in so let's get rid of the audience and I have to make the background image larger so And now I'm going to zoom in. So let's make so let's make the microphone and the speaker much larger here. And let's move the microphone closer to the speaker. Now we are going to make this screen larger as well. All right, and now we want to add some text to this uh, screen. Let's see here, text. Okay, and we can write something here. So we can change the font to something we might use in a presentation. Uh, yeah. Okay, so now we have prepared our animated video and if you don't want to use PowerPoint, you can use Canva to make a less advanced animation. You can do so by clicking here and then you can choose different animation styles. So, for example, you can do like this and if you want to do this really fast, you can apply the same um, animation to all pages. So let's see what it looks like if we use the animation style Rise. This animation is free. You can use it in a free Canva account. So let's see what this will look like. Yeah, so this kind of animation can be made free on Canva. Uh, but we are, want to make a um, more advanced animation. Uh, you can make the animation more advanced within Canva. And you can do so by using different animations in different images. So here, for example, instead of rise, you can use zoom here and we can choose another animation style here uh, on the third page here we can use some um, 
And let's see, we can use pan and we can use another animation style uh, on the next images. But uh, now we are going to, if you want to make a more advanced animation than you can do in Canva, we can download this presentation we have made as a PowerPoint presentation and then we can continue editing the presentation in PowerPoint and you can do this on a free Canva account. So let's download this presentation as a PowerPoint. So now I'm here in PowerPoint. I open the PowerPoint document I downloaded from Canva. And here I have all the backgrounds and images I made in Canva. You don't have to use Canva to prepare your PowerPoint. You can upload your backgrounds and your images directly into PowerPoint. That's easy. Why I'm using Canva is just because they have a lot of great images. So you can choose to prepare your um, animated video in Canva or you can start directly working into PowerPoint and upload your backgrounds and images directly into PowerPoint and organize them in PowerPoint. But now I have already organized my images in Canva. So now I'm going to make um, an animation here in PowerPoint and in PowerPoint you have much more control over your animation than in Canva so you can make much more sophisticated animations in PowerPoint. Now I'm going to show you how to quickly make a really good uh, animation in PowerPoint. So here, here we have the first slide and I want to animate all slides here and what I can do is I can choose transitions here and then I can choose morph and I can choose morph for all images like this but then I don't want to have a morph between number two and number three because here I want to turn around so instead of morphing here I will choose rotate this one yeah so that's what I want it to look like but I want these images uh, of the audience uh, so the uh, men and women in the audience here I want them to appear uh, after each other uh, I, I don't want them to be here when I rotate the image so how do I do that let's look here Yeah, so this looks great and now what I can do is I will go to the menu here and I will go to save and then I can just download this presentation as a video.